Gyms are moving to outdoor classes and they haven't had the best weather this week and there are more storms on the way. Point Loma Sports Club has been an especially has had an especially tough time and Jessica Rubin joins us live this morning to share how people can help. So Jessica, first off, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, first thing I want to ask you, and I want to start off by uh, saying we're so sorry for the loss of your dad who started uh, Point Loma Sports Club. Tell us what this year has been like. I know it hasn't been an easy one for you personally or for, for the business. Yeah, it's been quite a year, that's for sure, but for everyone. Um, we were first um, forced outside, so we... Um, we're one of the first gyms to actually move all of our equipment outside. And then there's been a lot of back and forth and um, just seems like kind of one thing after another right now. And with the recent windstorm, actually our tent collapsed and um, there was thousands of dollars in damage. A um, bunch of our equipment was damaged as well. So we're back to kind of adapting and figuring out what to do next. So just getting our tent repaired and trying to stay open for all of our members in the process. And what's it been like, I mean, going back and forth with opening and closing over the last year or so? I know that that's kind of tough to, to move stuff back outside and expect things to be going one way and then have to reclose. Are you guys yeah. hopeful that this now is going to be a longer stretch of staying open? Yeah, hopeful. Um, hopefully we can move back inside soon. Um, thankfully for us, our indoor facility is so spacious, so much airflow and open windows and everything. So really, it will be even safer. And we're planning to keep our outdoor space as well. So our members will have both options. But yeah, it's just been a lot of back and forth once we kind of get used to one thing, things change again. So a lot of learning and growing and adapting this year. Um, but hopefully this is, you know, things are going to go up from here and we'll be able to um, move back inside soon. And what's the process been like for you personally, kind of taking over this business now? Tell us a little bit about your dad and how uh, Point Loma Sports Club came to be and how you <laughs> took it over. Yeah, so um, my dad uh, founded Point Loma Sports Club eight years ago, um, and I was 16, and I started teaching classes here and working here, and eventually worked my way up to managing with him. Um, last year, he got he started getting really sick, so I started kind of taking over his role, um, and it's just it's been it's been a lot, and especially with COVID and everything, everything kind of hitting at once. Um, it's a lot for me to take on and a lot to learn all at one time um but and, and he was just such a community leader and it's a, it's not just my loss it's it's all of our loss it, we're all feeling it right now um it's it's challenging i'm not gonna lie but we're gonna make it through um we always do and we're always thinking about him and it feels like he's really here with us yeah and i mean i can't even imagine what you've been going through and how much of a challenge this last year has been not only with the pandemic but then going through that uh so we know you're staying strong in this time and you're leading the charge now to keep point loma sports club open and uh to be able to kind of rebuild from this now larry himmel neighborhood foundation is trying to raise some funds to replace the things that you've lost uh tell our viewers how they can help out yeah, well, I mean, anything helps, and I'm just so grateful for the support that we've received just in all forms uh, during this time in the last few months. Um, everything is just so appreciated. Um, if if there is people that can donate um, to, to us and to all small businesses right now, everybody's struggling, and it, it needs with the community. If we step up, then we'll be able to see these small businesses recover. Um, and... So really whatever you can do, but even just spreading the word about our gym or getting a membership or something, just everything is helpful to all these small businesses right now. And speaking of which, you've got Rachel, one of your trainers with you, right? Can you have yeah. Rachel kind of show us if there's still a great way to work out without machines? Okay, yeah, yeah. Hey, Rachel, come over here. Um, let me flip it over. So this is our little outdoor gym here. What's a good, uh, some workout to do without machines? Okay, um, a good workout to do without machines. We've got plenty of things that we can do to really strengthen the back, especially for people that are sitting at desks with their heads down. Um, you'd want to probably start by bending your knees and breathing, extending the legs, trying to really extend through your hamstring. You can also put your hands on blocks or even on a wall to help support. You can even use your couch. Next thing I would say, down onto your knees. We're gonna be on all fours, tucking the toes, pushing up in the shoulders. Big deep breath, going for some cat calls, dropping the toes. And a 
exhaling, curling and rounding. And then lastly, um, a really nice stretch would be to just pull it back into a child's pose. From here, you can also hover your head off the ground and maybe turn the palms facing up. You can also take a nice big deep breath and curl around here, keeping those shoulders internally rotated and pushing up in here. This is going to help with those shoulders rolling forwards and keep the back nice and tall, helping with your posture. Oh, I love nice. it. Awesome. Okay, well, that is great. And boy, that <laughs> facility that you have outside there that you guys have set up is awesome. So again, yeah. more information uh, is at that link that you see on the screen, Point Loma Sports Club, uh, asking for your guys' help if possible uh, watching at home because boy, that is a beautiful setup that you've got out there. And I know uh, plenty of people are hoping to hit the gym once again. So thank you both of you for joining us this morning. And uh, we're wishing the best to, to all of you. At, uh, of course, all of you at Point Loma Sports Club. All right, I'll send things back over to you guys at the desk.